All right, kiddies, here we go. Quickie video on the rain drainage tube on a 14 and up ProMaster. This is the tube in question. And as you can see, over here, amid the fleet of broken crap, uh, right here is a spigot that that the rain channel goes down in. Not, not rocket science. There is also, well, there would be if it hadn't fallen off. This van has 670,000 on it or something like that. It's approaching 700 pretty good. I don't know what that does. That probably goes right there. But anyway, there's, there's a, I know there's one in the thing here because I can feel it. There's another one over, oh, there it is. There it is. That's another rain drainage tube. It goes down. Now everybody complains about these goddamn things and rightfully so. The cowl, the first time you replace the windshield, which will happen because big vehicles with big windshields find big rocks and they make big cracks. Um, the cowl loses its seal. There's a double-sided tape back there. As you can see, my solution has always been, for these many years, Gorilla Tape. The only tape that will survive water. Duct tape or gaff tape or other types of tape won't do it. Just Gorilla. I'm sure there's some other brand name of Gorilla. But as you can see, as the every time the cowl piece comes out, this cracks and it's... Uh, uh, so, um, and also leaves collect in the gutter and they come down here. This piece that I am holding, thus, you can also see, I forget what the term for that type of clamp is. It's a single, there you go, it's a single use factory clamp that they can use a tool on and do very quickly. And generally speaking, they work pretty good. I mean, I could complain like every old guy, but they don't make them like they used to. I'm going to replace that with just a regular hose clamp. It'll clamp around here. If you have multiple problems with it, just drive a screw into it. It doesn't do anything. I don't believe I'll be able to show you how this mounts inside, but it sits there and it, and this fitting slides over a couple of studs that stick out from this firewall and it just spits it out on the road. Not rocket science. These small drainage tubes, use station tubes, are actually more problematic because they're so small and also the fitting up here, the way they're connected will break. And But none of this is a big deal. I mean, many people on the Facebooks are paranoid about water getting in on their engine. And it's not a problem. This computer is fully automotive grade and weather packed. And it would run underwater if you let it. Um, not to say that you want water on your engine, but it's the corrosion isn't going to be a problem. Look, you'll be dead by the time you have to get a new van because your old one is rusty. So stop farting around. Anyway, place that with a hose clamp. Non-rocket science, you could make this out of something else. I mean, look what we're talking about, just a hose. Or you could just do nothing. You could plug it up, the thing would fill up and run out the sides. Who knows, who cares? It's water, it's good for you. All right, I have spoken, and there you were.